What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to your Monday preview. Although watch this space because these cards could be available in a couple of hours depending on when Konami release them with the holiday period, right? We're going to have a bit of a meta shake up as well. I think with Cruyff, we'll go in and do a little bit of a training guide, a couple of talking points with the boosters in the trailer. Let's get straight into it. All right, so effectively what you're going to have here with Cruyff is a very Messi-esque type player, right? Forlan and Raul are more kind of specialized strikers. Forlan's going to be power, Raul's going to be finesse and speed and dribbling. You'll see the booster here that Cruyffy is going to be getting and it is going to be probably the best booster, speed and dribbling, right? So you'll see later on the trailer, Raul is actually going to get a bit of a strength boost. But Cruyff is going to be all about dribbling, right? If you're not a great dribbler, Cruyff might not do it for you. So if you're used to playing with Salah, if you're used to playing with Dembele, if you're used to playing with Messi, kind of nice dribblers that have different styles, you are going to have a very unique player here in Johan Cruyff because he is going to be a beast. I think he'll shake it up a little bit as well. And I'm telling you, a lot of people will want him. Forlan is more kind of like an Adriano Drogba type player. He's a little bit more nip nimble and a bit more mobile. You can see from a couple of the animations here, we saw with Cruyff, he had that acrobatic finish and unique kind of animation, Haaland-esque type finish. Forlan is going to be about power, lads. That's all he's going to be about, power and shooting. And then Raul is going to be all about playing off the last shoulder. Kind of a, a cheeky little SS. Now, you'll see what Raul's booster there, strength and shooting. That's going to be something that we'll need to look at when we actually do spin and train him up and see how he fits into our squad. But he does have good promise, right? All of these cars are going to be beastly, man. They are all going to be really beastly. Now, these are going to be part of the Spanish League pack, right? Uh, just a couple of players to go through here. We'll do a full breakdown as we always do on the stream and in the channel as well. But Raheem Diaz could be a good player as well if you don't get one of the legends, if you are spinning. The Depay is obviously going to be a good striker as well in the mold of Lautaro Martinez. There's also going to be on Thursday new MVP. So if you are staying free to play... I mean, there is something for you on the Thursday, on the 4th of January as well. But obviously, the biggest draw is going to be the Spanish League attackers that are the legends, right? Cry, Forlan, Raul, we've already touched them. These are in a 150 draw pack. You've got your players in here. We'll do the rest of the cards, as I already said. But these did actually go up, right? This is the Monday pack up on Sunday because of the way the holidays are dropping with Japan. And obviously, these are going to be up for two weeks, as you see here. Um, they're slightly different. They're up for 10 days. So that's because of the holiday season, right? Now, I will take a look at Cruyff and Forlan, but first we're going to take a look at Raul, who I think is going to be one of the most underrated players in this selection, right? So his booster is going to be plus two to shooting, which gives you a plus uh, two booster to ball control, finishing, kick and power, and physical contact. I would have liked acceleration and balance for Raul's player card, but listen, it is what it is. This is a 22-year-old Raul. He's got a very funky hairstyle there, as you see. He doesn't have one-touch pass. You'll need to give him that if you want to use him most effectively, I would say. But he does have brilliant player skills other than that. You know, heading, dipping shot, rising shot, acrobatic finishing, and first-time shot. I would like one-touch pass, definitely, with any player that I'm using in this type of role. As kind of like getting in, getting out, kind of Robbie Keane-esque, um, picking your spot that you want to actually attack and then go for it, right? Now, he does have 31 levels with the booster, and we've actually used this... Uh, on eFootball DB, which is updated now, as you see here, with 31 levels. And this is the build that we've gone with first off, straight off the bat, right? Five into shooting. We're going to be getting the plus four boost to that to make it 90 finishing overall because we're going to get the plus two manager boost and the plus two booster boost. And of course, we're also going to go 11 into dribbling and dexterity with eight into lower body, right? Now, I would say that usually I don't need to focus too much on speed, but what we want with Raul is his kicking power and his speed to be at least 82, 83. With Ten Hag, who we're using, Raul's speed is going to be 85, which is going to be very unique for a car that's got 90 finishing, um, plus 90 ball control and offensive awareness is going to be 90, as acceleration is going to be 92. Would have liked the balance to go to 90, but alas, it's not going to with this build here. Now, we also will take a look at Diego Forlan. A lot of people would be interested in him. I personally think that he's a beast. Um, if you look at his card here, and he does have first time shot and one touch pass. He also has knuckle shot, dipping shot, long range, chip shot, long range curler. Basically one of the best shooting center forwards in the game. Plus, he also has fighting spirit, which I always like on my center forwards, right? I always like that on my center forwards. If I'm using kind of a, a main guy in the middle of the pitch, you do want to have him as a focal point, especially if you were to able to put on super sub on Forlan if you're not using him as your main guy, if you're playing meta. He doesn't really fit the meta too much, right? But when you take a look at his build here, using his player skills and, of course, his booster, you can get a very, very beastly card, right? So, 5 into shooting, 12 into dribbling and dexterity, 
4 into lower body and 2 into aerial strength. 90 offensive awareness, 90 acceleration. Again, you have that issue with the balance. I am working on a video at the moment. I covered in my two-hour stream the last day about the difference now between tight possession and balance between cards. And that is kind of something that they've really limited, right? But the rest of his player card is really, really nice. I definitely think it's a solid card. And if you're used to playing with the likes of Balestrude or somebody like that, um, it will obviously be, you know, an easy transition over to use Forland. I think he's kind of like Adriano, Drogba, that kind of powerhouse. Very, very strong and physical. But obviously the pick of him is going to be Cruyff. So this Cruyff here, lads, is down as a whole player. He's 87 overall. He's got the ball carrying, which is dribbling type position, speed and balance. That is the one that I would like, except speed. I would like acceleration instead of speed. But you can see the importance they're putting on speed now, Konami, with this pack that's just literally released 15 minutes ago. Dribbling at 84 and type position at 84. That means that with those 31 levels, we're going to be able to train him up very, very nicely, right? And this is the build that we've gone for. We'll just take a look. He's got flip flap. He's got Marseille turn. He's got heel trick. He's got one touch pass. If you're able to get soul control and double touch on him, as well as first time shot, I definitely think that Cruyff is going to be a meta center forward to play with. And I'll show you why. There's two different builds that we're going to go with here. I will try spin for Cruyff when my next live stream, which will probably be tomorrow, if not today, right? We've actually gone very heavy on the shooting here for a center forward build. Now, I know he's going to be down as a whole player, but I'm not going to worry too much about that for the center forward build. 13 into shooting, 6 into passing, 7 into dribbling, 8 into dexterity, and 2 into lower body. If we're playing him as a center forward, right? Take away this 6 here. Once you have that at 74, 75, that'll be more than enough because he's got one touch pass, right? You already, you already saw the skills that he has here. He's got one touch pass and weighted pass. You don't really need anything else because he's got low left to pass. I think him as a center forward is very going to, is going to be very meta, but I do think it's a bit of a waste on this card. But if you wanted to go that, you're going to have 90 uh, plus in all his dribbling skills, 90 plus finishing with the boosters and all that, 90 plus acceleration. And what we're going to do here with this build, if we're playing him center forward, is we're just going to tweak that balance a little bit up, right? Because we are going to be getting the booster to that. We're going to tweak that up a little bit and we're also going to tweak the lower body up with 10 hag now you're going to have 85 speed with that card as well as the stamina at around 78 but you're also going to have his offensive awareness at 86 which is going to make a, a little bit of a difference playing him as a center forward that's all, as a whole player right now on top of that i will say that if you are using him as an attacking midfielder or a creative type player i would say that because of his booster you can actually build an unbelievable player quite easily right obviously with his passing skills and stuff you don't need to go too hard with the low pass and all that we can just limit that at around 80 low pass you'll still get the boosters and the player cards and all that the dribbling is fine at that if you're using him as a running gun attacking midfielder but what you can do with this card if you want to is you can actually throw his um lower body strength up a little bit which will add his kicking power at 85 and you'll also get your speed at 90 with ten hag you might say why am i focusing on speed he's not a defender he's not a central midfielder well if you're using cry as an attacking midfielder you can actually use him in a very unique way which is to put counter target on him if you want to keep him up as kind of like a, an attacking option or else what you can do with him is you can actually move him back manually a lot of the time when you have him on the pitch and and just literally carry the ball that frees up a center midfielder position where you can play a double pivot dmf so he's one of the most unique players that can do that. You can literally use him with Messi in this formation and use Messi on the right and Cruyff through the middle. So yeah, this pack is very, very nice if you do go for him. We will be spinning on our next live stream, so do not miss that. Let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of people were saving up for Cruyff. Let me know if you're going to go for him. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be back soon, lads. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.